Ladies and gentlemen, WCW Uncensored continues with this special return contest. Introducing first, representing the red and black of the NWO Wolf Pack from the Scottsdale, Arizona, Big Sexy, Cooper Nash. Nash comes out with Luger and Miss Elizabeth in tow. And I would dare say, that in the win that Rey Mysterio Jr. has had on Nationwide TV since Super Brawl, that, and we're talking about the one against Kevin Nash, the one against Bam Bam Bigelow, Scott Norton, and then the tag team win that he and Booker T got just this past week, that this is gonna be the toughest night for Rey Mysterio Jr. I don't know if in his entire career, maybe, but in a long, long time. For the simple reason, guys, this guy, Kevin Nash, I will tell you, is ready tonight. And we all wondered how Rey Mysterio's career would be affected after he lost his mask at Super Brawl. And to be honest, his career has never been better. It started with the win over Kevin Nash and Tony, as you mentioned, Bam Bam Bigelow, Scott Norton, even pinning Buff Bagwell in a tag team match. This is a match where two men are here to prove something. Kevin Nash wants to prove his superiority. Rey Mysterio Jr. wants to prove that it wasn't a fluke. Just in case you didn't realize it, Louisville, Kentucky! Wolfpack in the... Are they ever? The red and black color seen more often in any arena, in any wrestling venue around the country, and I would venture to say in any... The apartments go around the world. His opponent in this one fall match from San Diego, California, Ray Mysterio He comes with all kinds of confidence. Now, let's not forget we saw at the top of the program that there was an offering made to him by Big Sexy to join the Wolfpack that he probably turned down. Now, Tony, do you think that was a legitimate offer by the NWO to really get Ray Jr. to join the pack? Or was it just to play more mind games with it? Oh, I don't think that it was a legitimate offer at all, but a very interesting note. Compare the entrances and the demeanor of the wrestler back in Sacramento the day after Super Brawl to what's happening here. Ray is now, you can tell that Ray's red hot with a lot of confidence. And Big Sexy was almost laughing at him that night. And look at the face of Kevin Nash right now. Very serious, which may spell a lot of trouble for young Ray Jr. Well, guys, we know he's bigger than Ray Jr. He's stronger than Ray Jr. Been in the sport longer than Ray Jr. And wants to get his hands on him. Ray Jr. Ah. The Ray Jr. getting that win over him. He's in a, he's in bad trouble, Ray Jr. I don't know, Mike. Was that a little bit of overconfidence right there? Could that have happened? I mean, I know the man has a lot of wins in a row, but uh, it seemed like he went in that time with a reckless abandon. That may have just been the case, Tony. You talked about the night and day difference, the ring entrances of these two men, and maybe Rey Mysterio Jr. needs to be a little more cautious in the early going, just like he was when he pulled off the big victory on Nitro. But the key here for Kevin Nash is, he has thrown this man around the ring before. Look, many at, this, people, look at this. Many people have. The key is, is to not get overconfident. Like that. He's got a major hook. He put the big man down with a phenomenal move. He's up. Damn, King Ray Drop. Oh, deja vu. Is he going to knock him off again? He clipped him and drives. Big, sexy, outside the ring. Whoa. Whoa! That quickness put the brakes on. The best big man in our sport. Right there, Kevin Nash. Probably the best big man in all of sports. Ray on the outside, and it, it was only one move. 
It was a defensive move. He sidestepped him and threw him up against the safety rail. And that's how quickly Kevin Nash can turn this match around. Oh. But he's carrying home groceries. And dropped him off at the curb. Drives his face first to the hard edge of that ring apron. It's amazing how Ray Jr. has to have a series of about three or four moves to get Nash down and out. It only takes one move for Nash, and that's, of course, is the difference in the size. Look at this, the steps over the top. Ray's like wrestling three guys in there. Luger on the floor, Elizabeth on the floor, and Ray in the corner. Once again, the demeanor of Kevin Nash, stark contrast to what happened back in the latter part of the month of February at Super Brawl, or after Super Brawl. And big Kevin Nash slows down the pace. I think he senses that the momentum certainly has switched in his favor. Sizing up Mysterio in the corner, what's this? I think he also senses that you've got a corner and you've got to get him caught in a corner or where he can't move to be successful. I don't know what he's doing here. He's oh. Back elbow, out of the way down the floor. That's what he's doing. He's knocking him off the top rope backwards. He measured him. And he's not standing in the ring. He's not letting young Ray get a breath at all. Stalks him all the way to the outside. Oh. There's absolutely nothing a man of that size can do on a move like that. You're helpless. He's got the leverage, he's got the weight advantage. And Ray's just at his mercy on when the referee finally gets control of this match again. He's no more good for G.I. Ray. Yeah, but hang on here. How many times over the past four weeks have we said that? Well, you know, you just said a minute ago about how he tried to slow down the momentum of uh, Ray Mysterio Jr. I don't think he wants him to get any momentum. Ray's an athlete that works off momentum. He works off the people screaming and yelling for him. That's what gets him going. Look at this. That's as big an atomic oh. drop as you'll ever see. I mean, it was from well over eight feet, maybe nine feet up in the air, considering the arm length that time, and drove him down with an atomic drop. Amazing. Notice the demeanor on Big Sexy's face has changed quite a bit since prior to the opening bell. Looks a little cocky and confident at this point. Got him. Ray landed on the oh. oh! Downtown. That's the great equalizer. That'll bring Nash down to his size. The same type of maneuver that took Scott oh. Norton down. Oh. And Ray Jr. double leg crunch. Oh. One, two, two. get him oh. down. Was that close, guys? A second away from what would be his biggest win ever. Not good. Ray Mysterio. Just getting started. Apparently, he's up. He's caught. Was he ever? And he's in trouble. He's starting to get out of there, though. The referee. In the face, what was that Luger that sure tripped him? Luger tripped him from outside, and he walked right into the big boot from Nash. Now, before we judge, did his knee go out, or did he trip himself? We have to, well, we have to see what happens. We I saw see. what happened. Luger tripped the man up. Don't yell at me, or I'll ask you to leave. Pretty, who are you trying to take up for? I'm not. I I'm thought just, you say you're a broadcast journalist. I if you are, call what you see. I didn't see Wilger trip him. That's what I'm saying. Maybe you guys did. I didn't. I have a right to my opinion. Be that as it may, that has led to possibly this. Jackknife. Oh, power bomb. And he released him on the way down. About 10 stories up. Oh, One, two, two three. three. And he held on to the base, too. of Lex Luger for you? Well, I'd like to see it myself. I'll be the first one to say what I see. But I want to at least be able to see it. I don't think we need to confirm anything. I think it's crystal clear. Thanks to Luger, the win streak by the Giant Killer. Ray Jr. is over at the hands of Big Sexy.
Well, he gets out of it, Ray Jr. He hits the ropes here. Booger trips him. Of course, that's the way I called it. Nash drops him with the big boot. I don't think you'll ever see a power bomb like this. That's in your seatbelt. You're taking off, Ray. There's your winner, the big man. Big Kevin Nash, big sexy. Man still to come tonight, a triangle match. Raven rules, anything goes. Raven, Pat, Bam Bam Bigelow tonight at Uncensored. It looks like he did stumble.